Eyes of the Nation on PA. Mm -hmm. so will it be considered an upset if he wins? Yeah, I mean, Trump won by 20 points. I think now people's true ideologies will come out. And I think that's really exciting to actually see what people are thinking of the presidency. This election, she just felt so strongly about wanting to be a part of it today and wanted to take off. I'll be driving her to Connor Lamb's office today instead of school. My reaction to Trump getting elected was a lot of not necessarily anger, but just frustration. Like, I feel like I could have done more. So looking at this next election, I just thought I never want to have that feeling again. A lot of my own like self-frustration was sort of filtered into helping out with this campaign. Have fun today. Thanks. I'm so proud of you. I love you. Go, Connor. <laughs> Keep in touch. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of people coming into Allegheny today, so we need a lot of people in Washington County out of our Washington County office. Hello, how are you? Good. So, standing, <laughs> waiting for people to come. Um, we're just talking to voters, yeah, that are coming out, and most people have already made up their mind, but we're just like giving them literature if they want it and just being friendly faces outside the polling areas. Hi, how are you? When I saw Trump win the election, it was really heartbreaking and it was just sending the message to all of the kids my age that the adults of the country are going to allow someone like Trump who feeds off of hate to run the country. If no one was gonna stand up for the things that I believed in, I would have to do it myself. And that's why I decided that I needed to get involved. Aha! We found it! Yes. We made it! Hello! Oh, this is cool. Good, how are you? Good. Sweet, so this one's got 70 doors. How many do you have? 22, 22. but look at it. It was frustrating to not be able to vote in the presidential election. I, I think it's gonna be interesting to see like once our generation really has a vote, it, it, everything should change. I told my parents I was on my way to school. I just drove to the office. But I'm kinda of bummed. I'm missing a bio lab that I kinda of wanted to do, but there'll be more bio labs in college. Everybody who's on this list is people who we think will be voting for Connor or people who are not sure, like who are undecided. Um, so it's really a question of getting them to the polls. Um, I'm Thomas, I'm a volunteer with Connor Lamb's campaign. I just wanted to check in to make sure that you were all set for voting today. Oh yeah, I already voted. Right? Awesome. Kids need to be the ones who are doing this because they're gonna be the ones who are most directly influenced. Um, they're the ones whose future can change the most. So I'd say us getting out there is, is a testament to that, that we need to play a part in our own future and be able to to decide things for ourselves and not just have adults decide things for us. We have a stake in what's currently being passed, um, not only at the state level, not, uh, not only at the federal level, but at the local level as well. So I think that when the younger generation finally goes out there and makes the change that they want to see, then we'll finally start seeing politicians who work for everybody. I'm a volunteer with Connor Lamb's campaign. I just wanted to check and make sure you had got to the polls or if you needed any help to the polls or anything like that. Ernie. Ernie, that's right. Okay. <laughs> You are UFFA. Well, we appreciate your vote. It's going to be very close. Yeah, it seems like it's running close. Yep. Who'd you vote for in the presidential election? Trump. Yeah? Yeah. All right. To be able to take him to the polls is really cool. I don't know. It feels like you're participating even more, you know? When you look at people like Maria and they're out there working as hard as they can and they don't even have like a true voice in the sense of a vote, but what they're doing in reality is they're translating their voice onto other people. And when you don't have that vote, if you can get as many people as possible to really uh, feel as passionately about the candidate as you do, well, in a way, those are all your votes. Votes. Connor Lamb has 104,000.
Forensic County. Forensic County. Forensic County. That margin Dude, needs to change like, right here. No, don't podcast. worry. We, Number if it two, comes out of Washington County, we'll be all right. Was because we'll be in, okay. In the Westmoreland, the part of Westmoreland. There is only a 95 vote advantage for the Democrat. How do we have over the Republican? These absentee ballots are going to have to be counted before this race is called. And, and they probably will, and they're going to be absolutely key. Okay, so let me read it one more time. The absentee ballot in here in Allegheny County, the Democrat land, 1,930 votes. <laughs> How likely is it that Tacombs will get enough of these votes there to make a difference? Mathematically possible, Don, but unlikely. And let's look at that. Thank you. 